Hey, so this is David McClure at the Scholars Lab. Um, I just wanted to show one of the other new features that we're working on for the upcoming release of Neatline. Um, so to start with, I'm here in the original editing environment for the first release. Um, and so looking at the kind of the tools that you could use to sort of sketch geometry onto the map, which is really one of the kind of core activities when you're building exhibits. Um, so in the first version, Neatline implemented a pretty sort of standard GIS, you know, set of tools for doing that. Um, you could do kind of individual points, um, lines, and then polygons. And so those tools are really good if you're sort of trying to add geometry like this, you know, sort of kind of laying down four or five points connected by lines. Um, you can sort of drag the vertices around and then kind of, you know, add in detail where you need it. Um, the problem, though, is that if you want to do really sort of any kind of smooth or kind of more complex geometry, tools like this don't really scale that well. Um, for example, in an exhibit like this, where we have, you know, this big kind of complicated sweeping arrow that goes around this whole position on the map, um, if I wanted to, you know, change the arrow so that it pointed, say, over here at this river, I would have to, you know, first obviously drag that point, but then because it's all just individual points, I would have to go back and sort of individually then, you know, kind of pr sort of propagate that change back across the whole vector shape. Um, which, you know, over time becomes very laborious, um, and it kind of locks you into decisions about how you want to lay out your information. So this is also, it's especially frustrating because, you know, this is kind of a ubiquitous frustration with digital maps, um, which tend to be good at kind of, you know, making it possible to draw sort of blocky, jagged shapes, but less good at these, you know, very kind of smooth curves. Um, but in other domains, um, you know, that's sort of a very well-understood problem. Um, for example, in, you know, Adobe Illustrator, um, programs like Inkscape, um, there's, you know, the, the capability to, to build really complex, sort of sustainable um, and complex vector shapes. So in the new version of Neatline, what we wanted to do was try to leverage that capability in programs like Adobe Illustrator, um, and make it possible to kind of do that work of actually creating shapes in a sort of specialized vector editor like Illustrator, and then take the kind of final product and bring it into the sort of interactive spatial environment in Neatline. So to show how that works, um, here I'm in the sort of new editing environment for Neatline. So I'll go ahead and create a new record, just call it Neatline. And then over in the spatial tab, you can see that I have the kind of basic draw point, draw line, and draw polygon options. Um, but I also have this option called draw SVG. And so what I can do is, so here in Illustrator, I have a, a kind of a vector graphic version of the Neatline logo. So what I can do is sort of build any kind of vector shape in Illustrator and then save it off as an SVG file. So I'll go to Save As and just choose Format SVG down here. Save it. And so now if I go and open up that file in just any kind of a plain text editor, um, I get the kind of raw sort of XML representation of the SVG shapes. So I can just copy that entire value and then come into Neatline and click on this Enter Markup link right here just paste in the SVG document and click parse. And so now when I activate the draw SVG tool, I can come here and just sort of sketch out that shape directly onto the map. And so the cool thing is that once you do that, um, unlike, you know, sort of a lot of standard sort of labeling mechanisms on maps, um, that geometry is sort of first class geometry in the system. So if I kind of zoom in, um, because it's actually keyed onto specific spatial coordinates, um, you know, the sort of, the, the vector kind of, you know, grows and sort of shrinks with the map um, in a very kind of dynamic way. Um, additionally, because it's, you know, basically being compiled down to regular geometry, um, you can see the sort of, um, the interpolation that the, the sort of neatline code does to kind of hard, kind of bake in the actual coordinates on the map. It means that um, I can sort of apply any kind of the regular styling changes to the vector. So I can, you know, come here and sort of set the color of the shape, um, I can change, you know, the opacities, I can change the, um, the sort of width of the stroke around the shape. So it really allows you to, you know, have full control over the sort of appearance of these things in the exhibit, just the same way as if you would, you know, come and sort of sketch out a polygon manually like that.